Greetings, and it's our delight to come to you today and spend this time in God's Word and prayer. We're talking about the rapture of the church, and today we're going to read John chapter 14, verses 1 to 3. The Lord Jesus, during His time here on earth with His disciples, He gave them these words. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. So Jesus is telling us about things that he's going to do. He's gone into heaven. And what's he doing for us right now? He's preparing a place for us. And Jesus said, I will come again and I will receive you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And in connection with this, the Apostle Paul has given us additional insight that we saw earlier in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 1 Corinthians 15 of how the church will be raptured or caught up to meet the Lord, the Lord coming to receive us. And we'll meet him in the air. And he says, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Now, we cannot confuse this with what we read in Revelation chapter 19, because in Revelation chapter 19, the, the coming of the Lord is very different. There he comes riding on a white horse. He comes with his uh, sword uh, out, uh, ready to execute vengeance. And he speaks the word to destroy the armies that have come against Israel. And, and it's, it is coming in a way to a, the final battle of Armageddon. That's Revelation 19. But the coming of the Lord described here in John 14, 1 Thessalonians 4, 1 Corinthians 15 is so different. He's coming to get us, to take us to be with Him. So shall we ever be with the Lord, so that where I am, there you may be also. That's why we see these two comings as very distinct. One we call it as a secret coming, the rapture of the church, Revelation 19. That's the coming for the battle of Armageddon, the second coming for Him to set up His kingdom here on earth. Now, in the Revelation 19 coming, the saints come with him and we are going to be we're landing here on earth because we're going to rule and reign with him for a thousand years, Revelation 20 and verse 4. In this coming, he's coming to get us into heaven so he can fulfill what he said in John 14. Take us into the, he to the mansions he's prepared for us in heaven so that where he is, we can be with him there as well. And so we're looking forward to Jesus fulfilling this and being with Him in that glorious place in heaven. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for Your kindness, Your goodness for us, towards us, that You would prepare a place for us, that You would welcome us to dwell with You, that where You are, we also would be there with You. Thank You for Your mercies and Your goodness. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.